Picture yourself cruising down the highway. The sun's slowly setting on the horizon. Just vibing out as you drive along the California coast. And that's the type of beat we're gonna be making today. And the good people at Novation ended up sending me this FL Key 37. It is the first fully integrated MIDI keyboard for FL Studios. And we're gonna use this to cook up. I'm gonna kind of go through some of the features that I really like on this MIDI keyboard. And yeah, let's get into it. I'm gonna use a BPM of 132. I think this is a pretty good range for something that's a little more upbeat, but it's not overly fast. So the first sound we're gonna be using here today is this sound called Crown. It's just a synth key. It's from my bank, Grailed. So the cool thing about this is you don't have to use your keyboard or your mouse very often anymore. You can just go right here, click record to arm the recordings and just press play when you wanna start recording. Quantize right here. You can turn on the metronome as well with just this button right here. And then you can undo or redo, you know, whatever you end up doing. And go right here, do undo. If I mess up and just restart. And to just kind of give you guys some quick logic on why I kind of chose these chords, you want to use seventh chords like this, just because it makes things sound a little bit more full. This is just the same chord moved up five. Usually sounds pretty good when you do that. And then over here, I just chose this chord specifically because as you can tell, these chords are very similar. In fact, the only different note is this D right here. And so it's gonna sound good as you know, it just has a bunch of the same notes. And then rather than changing like these two chords and having this chord be different, kind of the repetition and then the slight change at the end with this chord being different from this one kind of gives it that kind of uplifting, kind of like nostalgic feel. So next sound we've got is called Toronto from the bank. It's just like a piano. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this over right here and paste it. Then for this one, I'm just gonna go and quantize the notes really quickly and then go to Alt S to strum because I want this to sound kind of more strummed. Perfect. Just kind of gives it that classic feel. Now the key to picking sounds when you're layering is you really wanna pick sounds that aren't exactly the same, but have elements that kind of complement each other. So for example, right here, if we listen to the key sound right here, and then we listen to the synth sound, they sound totally different. This kind of has a few more higher tones and more of like a kind of faster attack. I also move this sound up an octave as well just thinks it sounds a little bit better. Next, and this is like a really big key for your counter melodies in general, you don't wanna overcomplicate them, especially for a beat like this, which is more meant for someone that's gonna sing on it. People's voices are instruments, and the more you do in a beat, it's just kinda gonna get in the way of their vocals, etc. So what I think I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just kind of trace these top notes Just keep quantize here. Also, in terms of effects for each of these sounds, I'm just kind of cutting out the low end. The sounds are kind of already mixed how I want them to be. Cutting out below 200 hertz, so when we add a bass line, won't get in the way. Now, another feature I really like for this keyboard is these knobs right here all control this mixer track, so you can turn stuff up and down while you listen to it. All right, it's heading in the right direction. Now let's add a bass line and really, you know, take it there. All right, so right here, I've just got this bass. It's called Studio Warm Staccato. And it's like a nice plucky bass because I want, you know, I want to create a groove. Mm -hmm. 
So basically all I did here is these are just the root notes of each chord. And then I really just went through and just cut up like each part of these bass notes right here. Just kind of look for a place where it might sound good when there's like kind of like a little bit of a nice bounce. The only places I really avoided was where the clap's gonna hit, which is gonna be right here. So now onto the drums. I wanna use some like realer sounding drums here, kind of fit in the theme of the rest of the beat. So I'm gonna be using my 8-bit drum kit in order to do that. I got all my drums laid out here and we're gonna just use this pad. I feel like it'll help give it like a nice realistic feel. Hit record on here. Oops, wrong drum. down a little bit as you notice these are velocity sensitive gives it like a nice real feel So here is the beat real quickly before I play it. I introduce that lead sound right here at the beginning and then take it out before it drops into the first chorus right here. Right here, I kind of stop all my drums before it moves into the second half of the chorus over here. For the verse, I kind of just take things out slowly. And right before it drops into the chorus again, I bring back this lead sound similar to how I did at the intro. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Definitely recommend checking this out if you're in the market for a MIDI keyboard and you are an FL Studios user. It's definitely a cool little extension of your studio and yeah, I really like it. So here's the beat guys. Make sure to subscribe, follow me on Instagram and I'll see you soon. Peace.